St. George's Chapel does have a history of hosting royal weddings going all the way back to 1863. That's when the future King Edward VII, that's Harry's great, 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 great grandfather, was married. So tomorrow's wedding is going to look a little different. Mark Phillips is on Capitol Hill. That's a short distance from this location. Mark, over to you. Good morning, Gail. Well, as we know, the royal saga here is often known as and described as a soap opera, and this subplot of the marriage has all of the usual hallmarks. High last-minute drama. Who will be here? Who won't? What will they wear? Think of it as the bold and the beautiful by the River Thames. For some, the pre-wedding party has already started. Music courtesy of a local high school band. Harry and Meghan made their way to the rehearsal yesterday. Much has been made of the fact that Meghan Markle is used to being under the public microscope, but showbiz was never like this. This comes with horseback military escorts from the household cavalry. There will be a strong military element around the wedding associated with Harry having served. The betting is he'll be in uniform himself, although that raises protocol issues over his beard. Stay tuned. So now we know that Prince Charles will walk Meghan down the aisle, but there is still the question of what the tone of the service will be. Oh, my brothers and sisters, just tell them about love. Michael Curry, the American Episcopalian bishop, will give the sermon. Probably God. not in a style the hallowed columns of St. George's Chapel, Windsor, have heard before. Here's a taste. It's about love breaking into this world and transforming it. We do know something about the cake being prepared by London-based American baker Claire Patek. 200 Amalfi lemons, 500 organic eggs, apparently. Um, we have a lemon sponge, a lemon curd uh, filling, uh, and then an elderflower uh, Swiss ring buttercream. Yes, uh, the icing on the cake. Uh, so much of this plot, though, Gail, still to unfold, and you're in a good position to see it, I think, right about there, right? <laughs> Got it, Mark. Got it. We will bring you live coverage of the wedding from Windsor tomorrow morning. Our coverage, by the way, starts at 4 a.m. Eastern, 3 Central. I, Mark said it best, I think, Nora, where he said it's about the bold and the beautiful. At the end of the day, it really is just a great love story. Back to you guys in the studio. Agreed. And a lot of celebration. Thank you, Gail.